Gracias. Uh, voy a hablar en, in, in inglés. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I would like to use this lightning talk to tell you a little bit about Vibe Atlas, which is uh, the world's largest uh, network for internet measurements. And uh, to the one of you that don't know Vibe Atlas yet, it, is, it contains of uh, thousands of these little probes that are connected all over the world in um, internet devices. It can be a router, a switch, or um, even your home PC. And uh, these uh, probes, they do some ongoing measurements. Can be global measurements like uh, to some root name servers, can be um, regional measurements to some anchors. And all the users, so all the ones that have such a probe connected, can uh, define their own measurements uh, to the targets of their choice. And then they can do some pings, some trace routes, DNS, you name it. And uh, the data is um, public, it's available, and can be accessed via an API or also via uh, visualization. That's how the network looks right now. Um, and if you see, if you look about the complete coverage, you can see that in Europe and also in uh, North America, especially the United States, we are quite well covered, but there are still some areas uh, where we can use a little bit of more probes, because as more probes are active and as more they are distributed in different locations, as more reliable are the measurements that you can do. You can then see, okay, where is some latency occurring, where is the routing going from Patagonia to Africa and things like this. And um, here are some numbers to this. Um, ah, green and red. Uh, green are the ones that are active, and uh, red are the ones that uh, were activated but are not active anymore. This can be that, that, the, that the device is switched off because sometimes really people connected to the home PC, so you see exactly when, they are, when they went to sleep, or for, uh, for some other reasons. But the green ones are the good ones. And uh, right now we have around 8,600 probes connected. And uh, of these, uh, 230 are in this region, in the Lachnik region. And that's already a nice increase in the last uh, years. But still, it can be better. Because if you look on the, on the right-hand side, the list of countries with the most uh, probes connected, uh, we have Brazil leading. And um, uh, here we, are, we are here in Colombia. So far, we have only four probes connected. and that's actually a shame, because uh, then the measurements can be not so reliable. And if you see there are 5,000 active users just in the last quarter, every second 2,500 uh, results are collected and 35,000 uh, measurements are done every week, customized measurements where somebody really says, okay, I want to run this um, testing from these probes to my network or to some anchors. And um, I just want to briefly show you one selected case to also show you how we actually can use it in practice. This was done by our research and development department, and they had some look actually how IXPs, how the traffic of IXP is kept uh, local, or maybe not local, because as you can see here, uh, quite interesting uh, IXP traffic, or traffic by IXPs in Latin America, is going quite a lot um, to the north and is going via um, Miami and other IXPs in, in, in the United States. I will not go too much in detail to this, uh, of this uh, research, but uh, if you're interested, I recommend just to download my presentation from the LACNIC page and then you can click to these links and uh, see a bit more details what is behind this, um, behind this research. A bit more about uh, uh, yeah, the Atlas community and the status here in Colombia. That's really how it is right now. You see on the right-hand side, whole Latin America, and in Colombia, we have these four active probes so far. There are two, two in Bogota, one in Medellin, and I'm not sure what's the city close to Bogota. And um, at this moment, I want to thank you. Um, I gave yesterday the IR update, and I also mentioned the probes. And I want to thanks to Hartmut, to um, Fabian, to uh, Claudio, to Diego and others who, uh, who picked some probes and they will distribute them now and connect them in Ecuador, in Honduras, Brazil, Paraguay, 
and uh, Venezuela. But so far I was not able to uh, find someone here in Colombia who want to uh, have a probe. And I have right now two of these probes connected and I wanted to ask after this session to uh, some brave Colombians uh, that know a good place where they can connect them and that they also know that their boss will agree with them because sometimes uh, your boss might be afraid is this maybe looking at our traffic and all these things. No, this will not happen. They just really do these measurements. And um, yeah, please come, come to me after this session and I, I'm happily um, give you these probes. And then if these two probes are connected, we have doubled the amount of probes in Colombia, not doubled, uh, increased by 50%, which would be a quite nice result. A bit more, in, um, if you are interested to get more probes or don't manage to get one today, it's quite easy to also request it on our website. So you just um, go to atlas.ripe.net. You need an RIPE NGC access account that also can be created on this site. It's straightforward. You give your email, you choose a password, you have an access account. And then you um, apply for one, they will be shipped to you. And uh, you, register, you register the probe, you plug it in, and that's it. And if your organization is interested, uh, they also can host an anchor. I will tell in a second what, is, uh, what an anchor is. And they also can sponsor the RIPE Atlas. And um, at this moment, I also want to say a big thanks to LACNIC, because uh, more information about Atlas are also available on the LACNIC page in Spanish and in Portuguese. And yeah, the anchors, you see, they look a little bit different than uh, this small um, probe. It's a kind of advanced probe. Uh, there's more stable, it can do more measurements. And uh, it's not just that they basically uh, can send out pings and trace routes. They also can be seen as a use as a target so that you do some measurements toward this anchor. And um, yeah, like as you say, around 400 probes then can be connected or can be chosen to target this um, um, anchor. And so far we have 143 anchors um, globally distributed. LACNIC, again thanks, they will um, host or will sponsor 10 of these anchors and the next ones that are, will be uh, upcoming will be connected, activated very soon are in Chile and in Costa Rica. And if you like the idea and if you not just only want to connect a probe to your network, you say, no, I want to participate more, it's a great idea, I want to help you to distribute it in this region, you can become an ambassador. And an ambassador um, yeah, helps us to reach out to the local people, to the local ISPs, explain what it is, maybe give a workshop, give a tutorial, and um, yeah, help to connect those probes in, in the region. And who wants also can be uh, sponsoring uh, RIPE Atlas. And in this case, um, yeah, it receives some promotion and also some double credits. Because the way how it works, uh, when you um, activate such a probe in your network, you get one million credits each month, and you can use those credits for your uh, customized measurements. And as a sponsor, you get even the double amount. If you're interested in maybe become a sponsor or an ambassador, I um, yeah, recommend to send an email to this address below, the mcb at ripe.net. And yeah, I want to uh, yeah, close my presentation with some more uh, useful links and information, but don't write them down, better download my presentation. And if you have any questions, um, you can always send an email to atlas at ripe.net. This brings me to the end of my lightning talk. Are there any questions, comments? Si no subía acá, que igual tenés que la presentación vos. Bueno. <risa> no, no es una pregunta ni un comentario, solamente... It's not a question or a comment. Well, it's a comment, yes. The representatives of Atlas for LACNIC are Guillermo. There he is. Agustín, who's not here, but he's another one from LACNIC, and myself. Uh, Guillermo gave out all the probes that he had, so an applause for him. Questions? No.